Good afternoon, this is Dave Ehlers, Superintendent of Coloma Community Schools. Um, I want to bring you some update on graduation for the class of 2021. That will be held on May 28th at 7 p.m., rain or shine. I thought it'd be easier to use this format and then to write a long wordy letter that no one wanted to read. Uh, we, we've coordinated with the senior class, uh, looked at some survey data that they, they collected and shared with us, and it seemed like the number one requirement or request for that group of kids was that they had a traditional ceremony. I think we've been able to accomplish that this year. We're going to do that uh, on the football field at the football stadium. Uh, we're able to do that, thankfully, to being able to um, secure the services of TPC Technologies. They have their own stage. They have their own sound equipment. They have a lot of the things necessary to um, have a ceremony on the field that we don't typically have, which is why we have them in the gym. Because of having TPC, we will have this streamed live on YouTube. Um, each senior will get six tickets uh, for those to attend the ceremony. We have to do that for spacing issues and uh, recent guidance from the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services asked that we restrict them. Two groups of six coming in for graduation and end of year activities. This works out great as we've measured out our bleachers and we think we can accommodate that pretty easily. Um, each family or group will have to sit about six feet apart and stay socially distanced. Uh, for now, masks are required for graduation to enter the, enter the football field. Um, we expect that may change as we've heard guidance from the CDC talking about being outside and different things. But until we get notification from Michigan, we have to follow rules as a uh, school. If you need handicap seating, we're talking about uh, guests with wheelchairs. We ask that you notify the high school before the end of the day on the 26th of May, as we'll have to create a separate seating area for that. Uh, and we wanna make sure we have enough to accommodate everyone in need. Uh, the bleachers are very accessible to those who may be with canes or other devices, but they're not very accessible for, hand for those that are confined to a wheelchair. So again, we want to help you with that. Please reserve that with the high school office, 468-2424. Um, and then we'll have a photographer on hand to take a picture of all the graduates after they gather their diploma. And uh, we will share that with a Google Drive. We did that last year. That worked very well. The kids could go pull their pictures and uh, use whatever um, online service you want to make your professional photography your pictures. Now, we're not we're hoping for good weather, but should we get bad weather, um, we're restricted to have the ceremony that evening because we have TPC services only for that evening. So we'll still have a traditional ceremony inside the gymnasium, but now we're looking at two tickets per graduate. Now of the six tickets that will be issued to your student at some point, four of them will be green, I believe, and the other two will be red. If we get rained out and have to go inside that night, the two red tickets are the only ones that will be accepted at the door. So you'll want to make sure that you get those to the two most important people that need to attend the ceremony that night. Inside the gym, we have to social distance by our families just as we did outside and a mask will be required inside no matter what. Uh, because we have TPC again, it'll be streamed live on YouTube to get them so people can see it all over the world. Um, in, a, in addition, the screen that is on the football field would then be located in the east parking lot and people could sit in the parking lot and watch from their vehicles uh, as well as listen on an FM frequency uh, to the graduation ceremony. And again, inside or outside, we will have a, dig a digital photograph of your student after, on the stage um, for you to have access to that will be shared with these seniors. This is kind of a concept view from a different school that TPC shared with us. Um, you can see they have their graduates spaced out from a lot more graduates than we do, spaced out from goal line to goal line. We're looking more 30 to 30, condensing things and moving it back farther to where probably the, the uh, graduates will be close to the track by the time we're done setting up. Uh, we do have to maintain social distancing out there. We will have our high school teaching staff on the field to recognize our students as well as our band and our choir to fit out there and i don't see them in this picture so those are additional things for us but we'll have the nice big screen on the field for you to see from the bleachers uh, and a great audio uh, sound provided by tpc to make it a great event for you the weather decision is obviously going to be a very stressful decision probably more st stressful to me than calling a normal snow day but um, we have to make that no later than three and really 
around two o'clock when TPC gets here to set up is when we have to do that. Um, it will be based on the current conditions and the hourly forecast. And no matter what decision is made, I want you to know that safety is of the utmost importance to me. And I want to make sure that everybody attends graduation is safe. So in the, in the event of safe or not, we'll be, we, we will take that route and go inside if we have to. Lastly, just a few things of note, you'll be getting a letter from the high school explaining some of this and updating you uh, probably a couple letters between now and graduation. Um, unfortunately, anyone that's quarantined or isolated on our sheets that we get from the Berrien County Health Department will not be allowed to attend graduation. I know that's unfortunate. I know people want to, I've heard of some seniors want to lock themselves away to not miss graduation. Uh, I hope everything works out and everyone that's supposed to go to graduation uh, can attend that night but we cannot violate an isolation or quarantine order. Um, the typical, the May 28th, which is graduation at 8 a.m., we'll have our senior breakfast, our rehearsal, and our student parade. Um, for those of you not familiar with that, eight o'clock, the kids come in, they get a great meal, breakfast provided by our food service provider. Uh, then we'll move to our rehearsal, and quick run through a graduation. And then the kids, the seniors can put their caps and gowns on and we get a parade led by the band uh, through the bus loop where all the elementary students come out and cheer on and recognize the hard work our graduates have done all these years. So finally, the last message I have is as a former high school principal, finish strong. I know these times can be challenging, uh, especially in a pandemic, but it's easy to take your foot off the gas and kind of coast. And some of some of our students might need to uh, put their foot on the gas to finish strong and make sure that they're on that stage on May 28th, getting their diploma that night. So with that, that's a quick update on graduation for the class of 2021 from Coloma Community Schools. We look forward to seeing all our parents and families in the stadium that night to recognize those students for all their hard work. Thank you for all you do to support us and your students.